Hey, hi there guys. How are you doing? Um, how are you guys coping? How are you guys handling the, the isolation? How are you handling being at home for so long um, with the kids and the dogs and everything else? How are you guys handling with uh, not being able to cycle or get out and do your exercise you need to do? How are you coping? Are you actually doing exercise at home? Are you um, trying the indoor trainer or running on the spot or something? How are you guys coping? Are you doing well? I'm all right. I'm doing fine. Obviously, working from home, the magazine industry never stops. I am, uh, uh, my wife and I have to work from home. As long as you guys buy magazines, um, we will still have jobs to do. Um, the question I want to ask today, um, why mountain biking? Why cycling for that matter? Um, why, what, it, what got you or you guys into mountain biking and cycling? Um, for me, it was uh, a no-brainer really. I st it started very young for me. Okay, I'm Dutch. Um, so cycling is my DNA. It's always been part of me since I was a kid. From BMXs, from buying bikes and trading and swapping mountain bikes with my friends, to I don't know, getting my first road bike from my birthday. It was always cycling. Cycling was a sport for me. I was in rugby. I was in cricket. Um, cycling was always it attracted me to it. But mountain biking, for that matter, when I was a kid. Um, I saw on TV, uh, it was um, some sport thing from the States, um, I saw guys on mountain bikes coming down a hairpin bend, it was a competition, and they came around drifting with the foot on the ground, and this gravel was spraying everywhere, and that hooked me, that really hooked me. The fact that you can have a mountain bike or a bicycle that can go anywhere you want without buckling your rims. Remember when you were kids, your rims always buckled. And you those are old stainless steel rims and your rim buckles. I we never had them fixed. They just throw them away, get another set of rims. It was it was terrible. It was those plated rims and spokes that snapped. Oh, it's terrible. So that's what got me. And then um from there on I went, I tried mountain biking, a friend of mine, uh, uh, a close friend of mine got me into mountain biking and um, I did my first race in Citrus Dahl, I think it's Citrus Dahl series, series or Citrus Dahl, I can never remember, anyway, so I went, went there and that was my first race, I was hooked, I was really, really hooked, um, then I ended up going to the army and I never, I left cycling then, came back started mountain bike not really mountain biking but I, I borrowed a bike from a friend and then i had a computer swapped my computer for a road bike and then i started road racing and that was for me was okay and then i had a very bad fall and then it shook my confidence mount in cycling i tried then years later got a mountain bike and started mountain biking and it never stopped um yeah, it is, mountain biking is more, you guys laugh, but it's zen for me, it is what, it feeds my soul, it feeds my body, it feeds my mind, uh, being in nature, being amongst the trees, being in the forest, um, that's what it, it draws me to mountain biking, uh, as a part, the cycling bit, um, it keeps me fit, I love it, um, yeah, no, my, uh, cycling itself is what keeps me sane, I think. And maybe all these pugs as well. So now the question is, what made you decide to go into mountain biking? Why, uh, yeah, why cycle? Um, so so many other sports out there, but yeah, it's I find it's less destructive as any other sport. Well, if you fall, I suppose it can be very destructive. So yes, let me know uh, what you guys what you guys think. Have a great day.